Shalom family trendsetter. All praises be to the most high power Hashem for allowing us to see another day. I'm actually driving so you will hear some noise in the background. Now it's been a couple of weeks since I've made a video using my voice. Um, I've been going through some revelation in my life. Let's just put it that way. And one of the revelation I want to share with y'all today is um, this one. Now, um, I know a lot of y'all are skeptical about the Bible, such as myself. I know the Bible have been remixed, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? They have taken a lot of our information and omitted as well as injected a lot of information in the Bible. So the Bible is not what we... In other words, the original Bible is not what we're reading today, okay? It's a version of a story of a story. However, there are a lot of truth in the Bible, a lot of prophetic um, revelation in the Bible. So I want to share what occurred uh, this week, actually happened yesterday. Now, I noticed like for the last couple of days, if not weeks, I, I, I didn't have the urge to talk about anything that's been going on in the world. You know, I just I just want to fall back and I've been meditating on the most high and just pretty much asking for answers. You know, I have a lot of questions on and I've been asking for a lot of answers and he's been revealing a lot of things to me, such as what I'm about to share with y'all today in this video. Now please bear with me. I might be interrupted with an alert because I am at work. Now yesterday I was in the man cave and I was watching CNN and I'm watching all the nonsense going on all the distraction being, you know, being brought forth. And suddenly I went into what is, what is referred to as a trance. I call it a trance. In other words, I was watching the TV, but I wasn't seeing the TV. I was seeing something else other than the TV. And family, what I'm about to, what I'm about to say to y'all might bug you out, right? Y'all might, might say this dude is definitely crazy, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna share my experience with y'all. It's, you know, it's up to y'all if y'all receive it or not. There go the interruption on I me. Mean, hold on. I apologize, family. I'm back. So as I was saying, I was in this trance in the man cave while watching CNN, and I saw something other than the television. I saw a vision, family, of what I appear, what appears to be the Most High. Okay, because this entity, this benevolent entity, spoke to my spirit, and the appearance. I'm about to share the appearance of of what I saw to y'all. Now, y'all don't have to believe me if y'all don't want to. Now, in the Bible, it does mention the Ancient of Days, right? Or Yahweh Shai or Jesus Christ, if y'all want to believe that. You know what I'm saying? Because I know they plagiarize the Old Testament. But it did mention the Ancient of Days having fiery eyes. And his skin, you know, it had different color. I think barrel, if I'm not mistaken. But the vision, in the vision, the appearance of the Mosai was actually what's depicted in the bible now y'all know how i feel about the bible i don't believe the bible is is 100 percent accurate there's a lot of um omitted you know verses that was omitted from the bible as well as in interjection they injected shit in the bible all right the bible is watered down it's a version of a story of a story however the depiction of the mosai is kind of like dead on now in the vision i saw this benevolent being, and I'm going to assume it was the Most High. I don't think it was God this time. I think it was the Most High. And his eyes, family, was fiery red. It was literally red, but it looked like flames in his eyes. And the way how his skin complexion was, it was very, very black. I'm going to say, fuck it, I'm going to just say black. Like, if you look at the tire, it was black, but it was glistening. It was like shiny black. It was literally like looking at diamonds glistening but it was black diamond glistening that's the appearance of the most side that's what i saw as being the most side and not only that his face literally took up the whole heaven in other words i was outside looking at the most side and it wasn't like i was just looking in one area like when i looked like i panned around the, the heavens family that's how the most side how huge he was that's what I saw, like literally his, his whole his whole face. Now, I didn't see his nose. All I saw was his, was his eyes and his forehead, right? I didn't see his hair. But in the depiction, the depiction that I saw, the, in the vision, right? That, in the vision, the depiction of the Mosai, he had like black diamond, diamond skin. It was glistening, black. 
and his eye was fiery red. And he spoke to my spirit and he told me to tell y'all, to warn y'all, right? This is what he said to me in my spirit, not hearing a voice. He said that we are already in hell. We are already in hell and he's about to set it on fire. He said, tell them I am said. That's the word he told me. That's the word came out of, well, not out of his mouth, but in my spirit. It says, tell him that I am coming back to set hell on fire. And the only thing I could have taught about at that moment is in the Bible, right? The Helio Biblos Bible, the one that I don't really put a lot of 100% stock in. It did say that hell was going to be thrown into the lake of fire. And he told me to tell you all that he's coming back and he's going to um, set hell on fire. And only is elect. He didn't use the word elect. He's used another name, but I don't remember. But he said only the people, the people that is chosen by him. I'm not saying all Israelite now. He said only the people that is chosen by him will be saved from the fiery hell. That's what he said to my spirit. Right? And that was it. And I remember when he was talking to my spirit, I, I was trembling. I was scared. I felt like I, I felt like a candle melting. You know what I'm saying? I didn't hear no voice, but the, just the feeling that I had that came over me when he was speaking to my spirit, telling me to warn you that he's gonna set hell on fire. And it's so crazy in closing. It's so crazy because I always refer to this planet as hell. I always say that in my video. We're living in hell, this prison planet, right? And I'm convinced now that we are in hell. I mean, just look at the condition. Because remember, we are spiritual beings living in this meat soup, right? And I believe that when we die, we go back to wherever the most I want us to go back, whether it be heaven or hell. But family, I'm warning y'all, y'all need to get yourself ready, get yourself right. I don't know how he didn't, he didn't elaborate, but he's coming back to set this place on fire. That's what he told me to tell y'all. And with that family, I'm going to leave by saying peace and blessing, shalom. I love y'all. Stay tuned for the next video. I don't know what's going on, family, but it's about to get real. That's all I can say. Shalom.